Hi to all, welcome to RAM's Android Tutorials. Here we will discuss how to set up the Android installation. For Android installation procedure, that means in which operating systems Android is going to support Android application development. 3. Windows operating system and Mac operating system and Linux operating system. So installation procedure is same in all operating systems, but whenever we are downloading the software, we need to clearly download for Windows or Mac or Linux, that is which operating system you are using. So here required softwares are two, one is JDK, another one is AIT bundle. Most probably everyone knows uh, uh, from where we can download the software. Just ask to Google, you required, first one is JDK, so that JDK download. So that from this website you can download the JDK. And you click on this one, just you click this one, it will ask you to download the JDK. Download it, otherwise here you are having the JDKs now. You can click on JDK 7 and you can download it. But whenever you are downloading, we need to select you are downloading for Windows or Mac or Linux. So here we are accepting and if you are using Windows 32 bit, select this one. That means Windows x86 and if you are using Windows 64 bit, you can select this Windows x64 and I am using Mac, Mac operating system. So I am downloading here. Like that you can download here now. And one more uh, software we need to download that is edit a bundle so that edit a bundle we are downloading from developer.android.com you can open this website developer.android.com and you can see one option downside at the bottom side of this website get the SDK click the get the SDK option and you can see that option download the SDK edit a bundle for Mac just you click on this one and say I have read this agreements check it out check it and click on download the SDK now it is downloading that one but I'm cancelling it why because I already downloaded and after that installation procedure once we downloaded the software how to install them it's very simple now so first step is installation so first step is we need to install JDK and already we downloaded the JDK and JDK bundle, you can found them in the downloads folder. And JDK already we downloaded, just double click on the JDK file and double click, after double click it will ask you to accept and everything and uh, go on with the installation procedure like next, next, next and finally finish. And second one, we need to go for JDK bundle uh, installation procedure, I'll show you that one. How to do it okay once you downloaded the JDK oh sorry once you install the JDK uh, then next we need to go for the ART bundle already we downloaded the ART bundle take that one from the downloads folder and you can paste in any drive in your system so I'm pasting on my desktop and the ART bundle we are downloading as a zip file so we are going to unzip that one once that means unzipping means extracting <coughs> once you extracted we are going to get the folder called Edit bundle folder. Open this edit bundle folder. Inside we will find two folders called Eclipse folder and SDK folder. Note one point: Do not separate these two folders from this edit bundle folder. And next, I have created one more folder called Android Applications. This folder I'm calling as a workspace folder. Okay. That means here we are using the Eclipse IDE. In the Eclipse IDE, what are the new projects we are creating? All the new projects are storing into this Android Applications folder. Now, I am opening this Eclipse folder and inside you will find the Eclipse application file. Just run it. And it is going to open the ID. So, it will take some time. So, and it is going to populate one window called Workspace Launcher. So, that here we are selecting the folder what I have created for Eclipse Workspace. So, browse that one. This is the folder we have created on the desktop. So select desktop and this is a folder, select the folder, say open and hit OK. Then it is going to open the Eclipse ID. So it will take some time to open the ID, we need to wait for that one. So here the latest version is 22.3 so this is the Eclipse ID first time it is going to open so we are going to close this window 
then the ID looks like this okay so this area we are calling as a package explorer under package explorer only we are going to create a new applications and this is the editor area means what are the Java files and XML files we are having we are going to edit them here and is outline how the a structure form like a class and next method and the variables it will show you in the outline and this is the area we are calling as a debugging area so now these are the some shortcuts and these are the menus now so after opening the Eclipse ID in the next step what we need to do the next step we need to open the Android SDK manager we need to download some packages so here you will find the window menu and in that window menu you need to run the Android SDK manager tool and we are running Android SDK manager tool so at this point of time we should have the internet connection remember that one so whenever we are running this Android SDK manager it is connected with the Google repository and it is going to show you the available packages so clearly here you see everything is installed now suppose in the windows this package was not going to install that is Android SDK platform tools maximum Mac it has installed then windows it is not going to install now see it's, it was already installed but it is asking for the uh, updates now I'm going I'm not going for the updates now but as you see in the windows first time you are opening uh, it, it is it was not going to install the Android SDK platform tools you need to install this Android SDK platform tools this package in the Android 4.4 you need to install this ARM or Intel system image this is a CPU that means the CPU for the mobile now. So one ARM or either ARM or Intel you need to download now. Once you are setting these two packages, you can say install five packages. Then it's going to install. The next step is after installing, you need to restart the Eclipse. Once you restart the Eclipse, we need to create a Android virtual device. So what you mean by Android virtual device here? And after creating applications, we need to check the application behavior. To check the application behavior, we need to have a mobile. Why? Because we are developing mobile application. So to check the mobile application behavior, we need to have a mobile. So there is no rule like that. Every developer should have the mobile phone. That's why the Google is providing uh, Android virtual device for us. It's like a software mobile phone. So that that one we are creating through the window menu and using Android virtual device manager. Select that one. And that's my previous one. It is showing that. So first time you will get this empty window. So here we need to select new. And giving the name for the my mobile that is a mobile I'm giving device these are the different different screen sizes of the mobile now so I'm creating the screen size with the 3.2 inches and selecting the version 4.4 and after that I'm going to see here CPU automatically it is taking the ARM what we have downloaded using a sticky manager and next we need to say ok once you hit on ok that will take some time to create AVD now AVD has been created you can launch this one using here itself just click on this AVD and click on start and you can click on launch then it is going to launch the AVD so this is the Android installation procedure in the next tutorial we will discuss how to create a new Android application our first hello world Android application after that we can discuss the concept AVD. in the regular we are calling as emulator also it will take some time to boot the OS, OS and operating system and after that you can see the operating system as is what we are going to see in the mobiles now okay so this is the installation procedure the next tutorial we will learn how to create a hello world application meanwhile you can check my blog for written article uh, just uh, go to the google and type and type here rams android right fine yes just Rams Android, then you will get the blog Rams Android. Then you see here, uh, this is my blog. You will get a bunch of Android tutorials here. So, latest advanced, advanced Android tutorials and uh, basic Android tutorials. And you come down here, you will see here core Android concepts. So, select this core Android concepts option. Once you select that one, here you will see. Uh, basic stuff of what is Android and everything and here you will see Android installation procedure the video tutorial and this one is the written article so here see again supported operating systems requires always from where you can download and after that installation procedure and uh, 